Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to extract audio from a video file using your iPhone on the latest version of iOS 15. I've also completed this same tutorial on iOS 14. There have been some changes to the shortcuts tool, which I'm demonstrating in this video that enables you to do this. So if you are on iOS 14, I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below. But if you're on the latest version of iOS 15, continue watching and I'll show you how to extract audio from a video file. The first thing we're going to do is to open the shortcuts app. If you haven't used this before, swipe down from the top section of the screen to reveal the search bar and type in the word shortcuts. You'll arrive at the home screen of the application, which will have some tiles available with some pre-existing shortcuts. We're gonna go in and create a brand new shortcut by tapping on the plus button icon on the top right hand corner of the screen. When you do this, you'll be given an option to type in the name of your shortcut. I'm going to call this one Extract Audio Shortcut so that I can find it later on when I come to use it. The next thing you need to do is to tap on the blue icon for the settings. And this gives you the ability to determine how you're going to access your shortcut. We're gonna select the Show in Share Sheet option, which means that when we bring up our video file later on, and hit the export option, we'll see our shortcut as an export option. Tap on done, and now tap on add action. Tap on the media option, and scroll down through all of the options until you get to the video section, and tap on encode media. Tap on the small arrow next to shortcut input and select the audio only option. You can choose between the M4A format or AIFF. The M4A is a compressed audio format, which results in the smallest file size with highest possible quality. And the AIFF option is usually preferred by audio engineers and video editors wanting an uncompressed audio file format. I'll select the M4A option for this example. You can also go in and select the speed of the audio and choose between 0.5 normal and two times speed, or if you like a custom speed, I'm going to leave this set to normal as I don't want to change the speed of the audio for this example. You could also add metadata to the audio file, but we're not going to do that for this example. Next, tap on the set name icon just below. And here you can choose to give your audio export file a name. If you leave this field blank, it will export out with the original video file name. But I'm going to call this audio export so that when we find it later on, we can clearly see that the audio file has been exported out from the video file. And in the final step, we're going to tap on the save file option under the suggested actions, and then tap on the small arrow down icon if the subsection hasn't appeared and select ask where to save. And if you like, you could also select Overwrite if file exists, which means that it will automatically override the audio each time that you save. Obviously, if you wanna avoid that from happening, you can turn this option off. And there are all our steps for the shortcut to extract audio from a video file. Tap on the cross button on the top right-hand corner of the screen to save down your new shortcut. And you'll see at the top of the screen, the new extract audio shortcut has been created. So how do you use the shortcut when it comes to extracting audio from a video file? Well, that's pretty simple. All you need to do is to navigate to your camera roll that contains the video file, bring the video up, and in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen where you have the share icon, tap on that, and then scroll down to the options below, and you should find that your new extract audio shortcut appears underneath the save to files icon. And depending on how long your video is, this could take anywhere from one to two seconds, anywhere up to 10, 20 seconds or beyond. Wait for the extraction to be completed and then navigate to the folder that you'd like to save the audio file to. I'm selecting the audio folder on my phone. You could also save it to your iCloud drive if you prefer. Tap on done, and your new audio file has been saved to that folder. So how do you access this brand new audio file once it's been created? Use the Files app on your iPhone, and then navigate to the folder in which you saved your audio file, and you should find it sitting there. 
There you go, I'll tap on the audio file, and as you can see, the audio export file is sitting in that folder. If I tap in it, I can now play and preview the audio file. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. See you on the next one, bye for now.